Mwenyekiti wa tume ya wafanyakazi wa umma Anthony Mushiri amewataka wasimamizi wa wafanyakazi kukuza talanta miongoni mwa wafanyakazi ili kuhakikisha wanajituma zaidi na kupata manufaa iwapo taifa litafaidi kutokana na utendakazi wao. Ni katika kongamano la wasimamizi wa wafanyakazi linaloendelea katika kaunti ya Mombasa ambapo mwenyekiti wa tume ya wafanyakazi wa Uma Anthony Mushiri ameitaka mageuzi katika sekta hiyo ili kuboresha utendakazi. People are not being managed well. People are not being listened to. People don't have a proper working environment. I think it's lethargy and uh, lack of seriousness and lack of not taking their job seriously to serve the public especially the public service if the, the, the public service is an enabler to the private sector to create wealth if they are unable to serve as they are supposed to serve even the private sector will be unable to create wealth and employ he has truly challenged us as HR professionals to not only upskill in terms of our skill set, you know, becoming experts in that HR space, but also in our mindset. And this means that we need to expand our knowledge in businesses, we need to expand our knowledge in people management and leadership, so that we are able to manage this workforce that we are dealing with. We are having four generations at the workplace. As well as wanting more. Zaidi ya wasimamizi wa wafanyakazi 500 wanaendelea kujadili mbinu za kukuza talanta. Tell them to change their business model and to try and fight for their rights and to try and make changes in the HR profession because we have two resources globally natural resources and human resources. Anthony Mushiri anadai kuwa changamoto kuu ni kwa wafanyakazi kutumia muda wao kutekeleza majukumu kazini pamoja na ukosefu wa taratibu ambazo zinadaiwa kuchangia pakubwa kwa wafanyakazi kuzembea kazini. I hope the output increases right now productivity in the services is at 40%. That is unacceptable. Yes. So output is all about uh, how the HR, the human resource function manages that resource. So when you have a productivity last year of 40% against a global output of 70% for an economy that's supposed to be a mid-sized economy 2030, we are not going to make it. One, you have to collaborate with other line managers, you have to upskill your capabilities as a leader, and you also have to create an enabling environment. So how are we changing our cultures as organizations? How are we adapting? You find even post-COVID, the organizations that are still not flexible to working from home. Kungamano hili ila siku nene li natazemi wa kutuwa mwelekeo kuhusu chengamoto ya msongo wa mawazo, miongoni mawafanya kazi, hukumbu wangano katika familia, pamoja na janga la COVID-19, ya kisemekana kuchangia pakubwa. Eneza toka nyumbani, eneza toka uh, kazini, eneza toka mazingara ya nje, eneza toka mamo menge tafauti. It was already there in the first place because the cost of living, the stressors in the families, uh, the multi-generational issues that we are having, they come all the way from home into the workplace. Uh, drugs and substance abuse at the workplace is also a major crisis. Muungano wa simamizi wa fanya kazi sasa unapendekeza mafunzo ya kila mara pamoja na kila mfanya kazi kuwa macho kuhusu mienendo ya wengine kazini ili kuweza kutambua iwapo mmoja wao anakabiliwa na tatizo la msongo wa mawazo wasiamizi wanafanya mara nyingi ni kuweza ku interact eh? kuweza kuchanganyika uh, kupata nafasi ya ku interact na hujumu mfanyikazi ili mfanyikazi aweze kufunguka na kujieleza mapema so you, can this HR professional be skilled to identify that this employee, they are coming in late, they are not delivering as expected, could it be that they are having a challenge and how do you explore that and have preventive measures before the cases are out of control. So we are collaborating with Chiromo. Kongamano hilo li natazamiwa kukamilika hapo kesho na mapendekezo ya takawa fikiwa kuwanza kutekelezo rasmi. Francis Mtalaki, Ruenga, Yes Citizen.